don't engage alone. We do this together. <laughs> Somebody clip this one. Have you ever watched a movie that was adapting a book or a comic and they completely like misrepresent the character? If so, you welcome to the problem with Flashpoint Wonder Woman. Now, here's my issue with this. And by the way, I'm Jared. I'm the co-host of Co I'm the host of Comics League Comic Talk. So here's the problem. So you got, so Flashpoint was adapted into an animated movie. It was actually a pretty decent one. And it stuck, for the most part, pretty close to the source material, which I appreciated. Now, here's where it gets muddled, particularly as it relates to Wonder Woman. So first, I'm going to tell the story of the movie. So the story of the movie for Wonder Woman is that the Atlanteans and the Amazons meet. Arthur and Wonder Woman fall in love. Arthur's married to Mira at the time. Mira gets jealous, shows up in Diana's room, attacks her, and then Wonder Woman just cuts her head off, starts a war with Arthur, kills Shazam, as a kid, mind you. So there's a lot. And, oh, murder Steve Trevor. So there's like, it sounds like a pretty horrible person, right? Right? Well, here's the story in the comics. So in the story in the comics, Wonder Woman wanted to leave uh, Themyscira for a while. And so this is where we get like the Flashpoint version of her leaving the island. So she gets on a boat, she leaves, she ends up in, in uh, the ocean. I forget exactly where it was. I don't think they ever tell you. But she gets attacked by a kraken and saved by Arthur. So this is like uh, uh, the Atlanteans and the Amazons first discovering each other. So you decide, let's form an alliance. So before we reveal ourselves to the outside world, it would be better if we did it from a place of unity. So let's so let's do the whole marriage, the whole political marriage. So they do that. Okay. So then this is where it really starts to, to separate from the movie. Day of the wedding. Wonder Woman's aunt Parasilea, I think her name is, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, by the way, the same Amazon queen that was killed in the Battle of Troy. But um, she and Orm, Ocean Master, conspire, and they disguise themselves as Atlanteans and pop a trident at Diana. Unfortunately, the, uh, her mother steps in the way, and, and the trident kills Hippolyta. This leads to the Atlanteans leaving because, again, they, as far as the Amazons are concerned, the Atlanteans ju just attacked and killed the queen. Fast forward. The Atlanteans show up because their idea is that we don't want war with the Amazons. We want to essentially try and, and solve this as peacefully as possible. So what they do is they show up to Themyscira in, in armored boats. They say, we're going to show our strength so the Amazons will be less likely to declare war. So they show up. And then again, the conspirators blow up some Atlantean ships. And this causes the battle, which then leads to uh, Philippus being killed. And then Wonder Woman attacking Arthur. This then also leads to Wonder Woman being forced to destroy Themyscira. And this leads to her taking uh, the UK as new Themyscira. So then in issue three, I mean, th throughout the, the Wonder Woman and the Emperor Aquaman books, Wonder Woman finds out what happened. And she finds out the full story of the conspiracy. And she goes to Arthur constantly like, dude, we, we were deceived, Arthur. And our, uh, we have to stop fighting. Arthur doesn't stop because Wonder Woman wears the the helm of Mira, who she, she does kill, but this one's a little more in self-defense. And she wears the helmet as a reminder of to what this war cost us, essentially what the lies cost us. So then, 
Oh my gosh, it just gets really, really, really complicated. By the way, Wonder Woman does not kill Billy Bats and Shazam. That's another random Amazon. So I'm watching this. And, and by the way, she she continually tries to reason with Arthur. She When she finds out that there are like prison camps being run on New Themyscira, she is very distraught and actually releases the prisoner. So Flashpoint Wonder Woman is arguably not actually evil. So why was this character assassinated? That's that's the real, that's the funny thing here. And I'll go to my point three. DC's, this is another example of DC's disrespect for Wonder Woman because when they adapted her into a movie, I get that you didn't want to do the whole backstory because you only had a certain amount of time in a movie. I get that. Don't, at least don't have her kill Billy Batson or... Have you could like have a montage that plays throughout this of stuff, or, or you could have like Wonder Woman like cat a, a, a scene th that like Wonder Woman's with like a prisoner, and she's telling him the whole story of the war, and then you do a montage. There you go. I just solved your problem. It would take less than a minute to actually tell the story, and then you can continue on, and then don't have her act like Injustice Wonder Woman and. That's my key point here because I'm like, for some reason, DC always wants to turn Wonder Woman, their high, their iconic female character, into a punching bag and or an evil temptress. She was this in Injustice too. Going to Injustice, uh, my fourth point here, an Injustice, it's the idea that like, so Wonder Woman, so an Injustice. In the comics this time, the movie was actually better in this. Isn't that funny? So in the uh, Injustice comics, so so the whole Injustice thing happens. And then it's revealed in Injustice 2 that, Super, that, that Superman was, for the most part, like he could have, they imply that Superman could have gone back to being a good guy or at least stepped down. But Wonder Woman kept whispering in his ear and egging him on. This is exactly why I said this on Super Wonder um, Legacy two episodes in a row. They should have revealed that Wonder Woman was actually Cersei in disguise and using magic to bewitch Superman. That would have been so simple. But my point is with this example, it's another time when DC takes Wonder Woman and completely butchers her for little to no reason other than a story. I get that you have to cut stuff out for time. But don't make her do stuff that she didn't do in the book just to make it look like she's the bad guy. That is disgusting. Anyway, that's where I'm going to leave this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about this little expose on how stupid the Flashpoint adaptation is. And honestly, I like Jay Oliva's work, but in this case, you should be ashamed. But be sure to become a member because if you become a member, you get these a day early. And we're going to be doing a lot more members exclusive content and streams it's gonna be really fun so stay heroic everyone lois lane is lois lame she belongs to general zod zoe is the max about for life i'll see you later <laughs>